witness the journey of one man's life on his quest for truth. A life of more than 24 years training in traditional martial arts, energy work, and Chinese medicine. Follow his path as a student in these mystical art forms, from beginner to black belt, from novice to fifth dan, and a high-level discipline in Kung Fu, Tai Chi, and Chinese Qigong. See how the God of the Bible transformed his heart from a path of self-destruction and brought him into his marvelous life. I appreciate everyone coming out here this evening. And um, I know this may not be the professional thing, but I need to warn you up front, I get very nervous <laughs> for the first couple of minutes whenever I, I have to get in front of a crowd. Um, I want to open by sharing something with you. In 2007, the Lord set me free from something that I had been in bondage to not only for the 24, 25 years I was in the martial arts, but for many years. And I asked him one day, I said, Lord, I want to help other people know your power like I do now for the first time in my life. And I said, I want to be able to share the dangers of what I was involved in. And... I asked the Lord to open that door, and He opened that door. And after a few months, I told the Lord, I said, I don't want to spend the rest of my life telling people about what's wrong with martial arts or yoga or Tai Chi or Reiki or whatever. I said, I don't want to do this the rest of my life. And the Lord did a miracle. He told me something through the emails that we began to receive. Out of every hundred emails that we received since 2008, when we first started the ministry, only 35 of them have anything to do with martial arts. Only 35 out of 100. The other 65 are people just like you and me that are calling and they're emailing and they're saying, I'm addicted to drugs, I'm addicted to pornography, I fight with my wife, of, my husband has left me, of, uh, my, my dad and mom rejected me. I want to be free. Can you help? And I praise God that that's what he's done. So through this series, this weekend, yes, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the dangers of the spiritualism and the Eastern mysticism that's coming into our world. But in the midst of that, the most important part of that is the same power that set me free from what I was in chains to is the same power that can set you free today. Today. I don't have this on the screen, but I want to read something to you. It's in Isaiah chapter 63, and this verse has become one of my favorite verses. Isaiah chapter 63. And I'm not going to preach a sermon because I could stay right here just on this tonight. But Isaiah 63 verse 1, listen to what our Father and our Savior are saying to us tonight. He says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? You remember in Revelation it says, I saw one sitting on a white horse and he had garments as though they were dipped in blood. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? He that is glorious in his apparel traveling in the greatness of his strength. And then the one speaks. He says, I that speak in righteousness am mighty to save. He is mighty to save. And the way that he saves is the same way that he does everything else. By the word of his mouth. By the word of his mouth. 